Okay, so Sonic versus Ensign. Uh, that actually doesn't sound fun uh, for either, honestly. You know, Sonic <laughs> uh, is going to just be running away from, from Incineroar. Incineroar being OD slow is going to be like, get the hell back here. What do you what do you think I can do? And then Sonic's like, I don't, like, it's like you're just a scary powerhouse. I got to get the hell away from you. And it's just, this is just no winning here. Already you're seeing a revenge right off the bat. <laughs> Already? <laughs> You know, I don't know too much about this match in particular, but I can speak from the Sonic perspective just because I have experience against yeah. Sonic players. Um, a lot of it is just like rushing down, like spin dashing, causing constant shield pressure. Or if they're conditioned to shield, that's where you can go for tech chase. Like, I know they've been experimenting with down throw tech chase, um, or even up throw combos, like up throw up air. Mm -hmm. um, if they're not conditioned to shield and they're jumping, um, Sonic has plenty of options to cover that, just rising up air. Um, and then when they're dashing a lot, that's where you can kind of go for the, uh, the spin dash combos. They've got like spin dash to forward air. I've even seen people do spin dash only attack and then catch someone in disadvantage and then re grab. There's just a lot of stuff that the Sonics have innovated. Um, and Sonic Fiend, who I play a lot, has certainly showed what Sonic is capable of. And right now, Oh, I thought he was going to die with a revenge. Side B. Okay. Shoot. All right, we're, we're entering the territory where someone's going to die just like that. So then the man going to be taking the first stock. Was, uh, didn't take 100 damage, which is a... You know, not hitting triple digits and still able to take your opponent's uh, stocks. Really good situation to be in. How heavy is Insane? I imagine he's like kinda up there. I know he's not like the heaviest, but like he I'm sure he's got some chunk on him, right? Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Alright. The weird thing about this matchup is Sonic is just so light and Sonora is so heavy, it's like whenever you bring in Sonora to like 130, 140, it's like, are you really winning the matchup? Are you really? Because at some point you get side B revenge and then you die at like 70. Yeah, right now, Den the Man doing a real good job of just staying out of dodge for like the moves that are, would be able to kill and just taking it slow. And that's, you know, kind of what you got to do. Uh, Instant, not a very fast character. Slow them down to your pace. Use the fact that, that you have your good close range buttons and that the fact, and like really milk that stock lead that is now a two stock lead. And he's at 160 damage. Ooh, he's just like, come trade with me. 170. Are we going to those brawl percents? Let's see one. Let's see two hundo. What? <laughs> Down oh my is god, that, no, is that, that's not, it <laughs> is! Oh my god, Dan the man, taking game one. Wow. That is so amazing. Look at this, down throw, jump, I was DI in, which you're not supposed to do, but that's fine. Oh. Caught him off guard, probably didn't react quick enough, uh, and just like... Didn't expect that, I think. I love this little, it's like, boom. I'm not afraid to go off stage. But yeah. Uh, that is so sad. Dan, they were having a pretty even fight, like, in that first stock. You know, it was like, who's it going to go to and all that? Uh, but, you know, once Dan the Man was able to take that first stock, really played to the full, like, uh, advantages and plus that, uh, that Incineroar gets. You know, just like... Just being like, hey, man, you got to come to me. I got some sick-ass buttons when I get to use them. And uh, you're, you might not enjoy. You might not en enjoy it. So, also, yeah. Also, to, to, to answer the question of weight, um, apparently Incineroar is as heavy as Charizard. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So he's definitely got some decent chunk. He's definitely got some chunk. Your Charizard a chunky boy. So... Oh, you know what's actually interesting? Uh, Dan the Man, you know, uh, also is a Pokemon trainer who's really just secretly a Charizard player. 
uh, who's forced to pick Pokemon Trainer to get to his love. Uh, so he's already used to the. Uh, he's, he already knows, like, no matter what characters he's playing, like, what kind of weight he's dealing with and what kind of hits he can take. Uh, because like you can sometimes like when someone's playing like a secondary. Not that I don't. Not that I think that Incineroar is like a secondary at this point. I think it kind of might be a co-main for Dan the Man. But in general, it's like when you're not like fully like experienced with your character's uh, like properties and stuff, you, you might like die earlier than you were expecting, or die later when you're expecting, and that can affect the way that you're playing. Like maybe you played too safe too early, and that really like. Uh, you know, it may have, uh, you know, hindered some extra damage you could have done because you weren't confident. Anyway, uh, Sonic Fiend starting off this game uh, much better in his favor. Already getting Dan the Man into triple digits. We're only taking less than 50 himself, now 60. Ooh! Oh my god! No! Okay, this is a scary no. situation. Could this be a repeat of what we just saw last game? It isn't because oh. we're doing weird ass nares as my man's is just charging forward smash. So now even stocks. <laughs> this is amazing. I don't know, like, I guess he, I don't know, that, that nair was just too high to like hit anybody unless he was like reading a jump. But I mean like, what's not gonna do? Uh, forward air drill pack, like. Anyway, oh, nice revenge, and Ooh. then the, what, what do we call that move? Uh, uh I actually don't know. Right, we'll we'll just call it a command grab for now, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I'm sure it has some silly name. I, I, I might be blanking on it. Anyway, um, regardless, actually, percents are getting kind of even, uh, you know, especially with how hard that uh, Incineroar hits. Ooh, ooh. Uh, That's it. All right, kind of a you know unfortunate situation right there. The way the OB landed just kind of right in front of him. What was that? <laughs> and we see a little bit of a taunt from Sonic Fiend. Oh man, what a little rascal! All right, super even percents. Oh oh oh, triple up air, but up not air. too much damage. Do spin dash combos? Yeah, see? Right, Do yeah. a spin dash into forward air? Yep, try to, try to really just uh, milk that string in case uh, Dan the Man wanted to cooperate with, with his own death and be like, yes, please drill peck me. First, to get that up air length doesn't quite get it. Alright. Ooh, okay, going for the Nair to just, uh, it, you gotta put a constant hitbox out to, to better combat another constant hitbox. Go for that trade. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. Ooh, that was kind of sick. Ooh, 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 ooh. pretty good. Oh, but then messes up the edge guard, getting hit by the landing explosion from uh, Incineroar's Up B. Does, uh, does Incineroar's Up B have a, have a name? Uh, probably does. I'm just gonna refer to it as Up B for now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, that's it. That's fine. Oh my god! Yeah, that's it. Sonic Bean uh, worked so hard and came so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Alright, so Dan the Man, uh, you know, just always keeping it. Keeping it, uh, keeping it close. You know that that first one was a, he kind of just kind of ran all over him. But Sonic Fiend clearly made some adjustments and you know uh, tried to play it safe and go in for like some good openings. Uh, you know, Dan the Man was able to to kind of just return in kind, and we had a much more even match. And right when you thought Sonic Fiend was pulling away with the lead, you know he got extra damage on Cinderar. You know not in the worst situation. Uh, just gets. Snagged up and uh, dies off the side. So Dan the Man gonna be taking uh, taking that set. Oh, that was forward air. Wow, taking the set 2-0. Really sick gameplay. So yeah, uh, I think he wanted to spin dash jump there. Maybe.